Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this most important chapter on number system. Firstly, we will introduce you to irrational numbers. Then we shall study real numbers, their decimal expansion and their representation on number line. Then we shall move to operation on real numbers and finally we will discuss laws of exponent for real numbers. Hello students, let us start by revising our numbers. Remember in your KG and nursery classes, you were taught counting from 1, 2 and 3 and so on. So basically you were taught natural numbers. Later 0 was introduced and then your counting started from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then they were called whole numbers. Then was introduced a concept of negative whole numbers. Those were 0, minus 1, minus 2 and so on. Similarly, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And these were together known as integers. Then came more complicated numbers. Those were fractions and later known as rational numbers and those numbers included numbers between the complete numbers like 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and so on. These also include minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 4, and so on. And they are known as rational numbers. In this chapter, we will introduce you to even more complex numbers, which will be called irrational numbers. And those are like root 2, root 3, root 15 or pi and so on. Need not to worry. We shall study irrational numbers in detail. But before moving to irrational numbers, we shall recall rational numbers. Also note that from now on, we will denote collection of all natural numbers by n collection of all whole numbers by w collection of all integers by z collection of all rational numbers by q and since collection of all irrational numbers will be included in the collection of real numbers so they can be represented by R. Here R denotes real numbers which is a collection of rational numbers plus irrational numbers. Let us recall the definition of rational numbers. A number is said to be a rational number if it can be written in the form P by Q such that P and Q are integers and Q cannot be 0. That means 1 by 2 is a rational number, 3 by 4 is a rational number, minus 2005 
by 2006 is also a rational number. Also all integers are rational numbers. For example, say 25. It can be written as 25 by 1. So it is also a rational number. Let us try to represent half on number line. Consider a number line representing integers. We have 0, 1, 2 and so on we can write. Similarly, minus 1, minus 2 and so on. To represent half, we will divide our first unit that is from 0 to 1 in two parts and the point on number line will represent half. What does this point represent? It represents 2 by 2. Suppose we divide the second unit into two equal parts. Then the third point will represent 3 by 2 and the next point will represent 4 by 2 and so on. Let us now try to represent 3 by 4 on the number line. To do that, we will divide each unit into 4 equal parts. So let us do so. Now let us try to represent 3 by 4. The first division will represent 1 by 4. Second division represents 2 by 4. Next one represents 3 by 4. Next is 4 by 4. 5 by 4. 6 by 4. 7 by 4. 8 by 4. And hence we can see that the third division is representing 3 by 4. Let us also recall that the rational number do not have a unique representation in the form p by q. That means if our rational number is 1 by 2, then we can have a number of equivalent fractions by multiplying numerator and denominator by the same number. Say we multiply by 3, we get 1 by 2 equal to 3 by 6. If we multiply 1 by 2 with 4, we can get 4 by 8. With 5, you can get 5 by 10. That means half is equal to 3 by 6 equal to 4 by 8 equal to 5 by 10 equal to 10 by 20 equal to and many more numbers. All these numbers are called equivalent rational numbers. That would mean that same rational number can have different representations on number line. So we make a rule that when we represent rational number on number line, we make sure that the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. So on number line, among the infinitely many fractions equivalent to half, we will choose only half to represent all of them. Let us recall to find rational numbers between given rational numbers. Suppose we have to find one rational number between 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. From the number line 2 by 4 
is the rational number between 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. But what about a rational number between 2 by 4 and 3 by 4? We can use the technique that we can add the two numbers and divide the sum by 2. That means we can have 2 by 4 plus 3 by 4 whole divide by 2. This will give us 4 as LCM, 2 plus 3 whole divide by 2 which comes out to be 5 by 4 multiply by half that is equal to 5 by 8. That means 5 by 8 lie between 2 by 4 and 3 by 4. We can find another rational number between 2 by 4 and 3 by 4 by following the same procedure with 5 by 8 and 3 by 4. That means if we add 5 by 8 plus 3 by 4 and divide the sum by 2, we can get another number 11 by 16 which will lie between 2 by 4 and 3 by 4. Hence we come to the remark that there are infinitely many rational numbers between any two rational numbers.